All right, we'll start with TJ McBride. Hey, Monte. It seems like the, like the identity of this bench unit right now has really become defensive. What has worked in that regard for this unit, and how sustainable do you think that is going forward? I think it's good. Um, like I said, we just try to be better than the next team bench. That's all we really can come in and control and try to sustain the lead or uh, come back from a deficit. So and we'll go to Mike Singer. Hey, Monte. Uh, Malone just said you guys are seven and seven. Obviously, there's room for improve, but he goes, I like this team a lot. Like, do you feel like you guys are getting close to, to, to where you expect it to be at this point? Uh, I do, but I feel like we uh, not all the way close, close, but I feel like we're getting, we're itching, we're climbing up the mountain. But that just shows you know how good we can be. We know it's a tough Western Conference, but I feel like we're figuring it out. And, um, we just got to keep going. The sky's the limit for this team. And uh, for every guy that's playing in the rotation and the guys that came in, as you saw, and finished the game. So we can keep building, trusting the process, and listening to the coaches. I feel like we should be fine. Katie Wingy. Hey, I know you told us on the radio already you want to see that bull dunk on Sports Center, but I want you to elaborate a little bit. What were you thinking when you got that rebound and took off? And then take us through some of the bench reaction. I mean, once he got it, everybody thought it was like, go coast to coast, Bo, go coast to coast. We thought he was going to settle for a jumper, but he, uh, yeah, he went right, took off something we've seen before, but it was different when the light's on in the game. So when he did it, everybody just almost got a tech. We all ran on the court. And then as you see, Gary, Will, those guys jumped in the camera. So it was a moment, you know, just showing our teammates that we there for them, you know, no matter where, with good or bad, so. We'll go back to Mike Singer. Hey, Monte, speaking of a moment, uh, did you expect Faku to go through the legs there? What What was that uh, transition break like? Uh, I know he's a willing passer, amazing passer. I told Katie and him that, you know, he got eyes on the side, the backhand, the front. Um, so I seen him look at me, but we were so far like half court. I wasn't sure should I run to the corner for a three or run to the rim. But, you know, I saw him speed up, speed up. And once I see him then get into a shoot motion, I just gathered my steps. You know, I seen the guy running through my uh, peripheral vision. So I knew I had to go on my right leg instead of an uh, ordinary layup. So, uh, yeah, once he threw it, I just had to finish the play, you know. It would have been bad. People would have been on my head if I ain't finished that. So had to make it. I'll go to Todd Romero. Hey Monte, I, I know you see him in practice. You watch him in the games, but when you when you're watching Nikola Jokic, do you get lost in the moment sometimes? It just be amazing of, of what this guy does and and how you react to other teammates on the bench when you're watching the greatness that he is right now. Yeah, you know, uh, I take my hat off to Nikola. Jokic, and, you know, like I told him, uh, I think like two, three games ago, we was looking at their game, and I just said, you know, uh, everybody's talking about the Durant's and LeBron's, Giannis's, you know, we playing with a Hall of Famer right here. So, you know, I just wanted him to know that, that, you know, everything he do, I try to uh, put into my my ritual and things like that, because, you know, you don't get a guy like that playing at a high level, triple double every night. Um, and he don't get a lot of credit as he should, uh, maybe because he ain't flashy with the dunks and things, but he produced just as much, if not more, than anybody in the NBA. So um, I'm I'm amazed every night I see it. And in practice, man, it's effortless. He got a touch I ain't never really seen. He can shoot the three, and his passes speak for itself. So, yeah, he's definitely a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. So, um, yeah, to ask you a question. We'll go to Harrison Wind. I don't want to call a game, Monte, like 13 games into the season a must win, but did you guys feel like you really needed this one with the prospects of just getting back to 500 there and also with this big five-game road trip coming up? Yeah, we knew we needed this, especially being a division opponent. We wanted to uh, come out and get our win back. Um, we knew we dropped a few. You know, looking back at our losses, everything was close, you know, um, down the stretch. Maybe it was one or two error plays or plays we didn't finish. Um, so we know how good and how close he is, but this definitely was a must win. 
we need to, you know, one through 15 um, to come in and, and contribute, whether you was out there or you was on the bench. But, you know, we just had to come out and play Nuggets basketball and get back on track and feel good about this, you know, this tough road trip we got coming up. All right, we got time for one, one more. We're going to end with TJ McBride. Hey, Monte. We've been asking you as media for years now, what makes Nikola Jokic want to score as opposed to just look for other guys? And this season, it really seems like he's taken that initiative. Have you seen anything different? Has he adjusted his approach in any way? Or does he just realize what the moment needs and that's what he's giving? Um, I mean, I'm not sure. I just feel like he's aggressive um, every night. You know, he hasn't took a game off as far as scoring and just trying to make guys better. I feel like he's doing it and figured it out, you know, that he can do both or well, three things, rebound also, you know, impact the game. So that just show you his maturity and he want to be that guy that we lean on whether to make them right plays and he's doing it at a very high level. So I feel like he definitely uh, should be in a highly talks with the MVP race for sure. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Monte. Appreciate it.